Live from the box, it's live from the box. Live from the box. Man, that's that's friend of the show, Mr. Tall Bucks, featuring Ayana. Yes, man. With facts. Bucks. Before definitely that. Definitely. What? Go ahead, man. Friend of the show. Man. Yeah, definitely a friend of the show, man. Before that, we had Feast of the Superb Owl, Let Me Down. Slim. Yo. We got two big chairs today. Yes, sir. We can't say who's in the big chair today. We got two big chairs today. Yeah, man. We need to. You know what I'm saying? And and, and hmm. for this, we hmm. want them to introduce themselves. Ladies. Yes. Hey. Introduce yourselves. Hi, it's Lakeisa Renee. Hey, everybody. It's LaShawn. Call me LS. And we are LSK. Yeah. Now, y'all... I ain't gonna start with y'all yet. We'll wait. No, we'll wait. We'll wait, wait, wait further than because I was about to. Don't you start. But Slim. Yeah. We're gonna get the business out of the way. Let's get it out the way. LSK modeling and events. Share with us. You know. You know. I'm a history guy. You know what I'm saying. So give See, us. Give us the background. Give us the background. How'd you guys connect? Come together. Yeah, I want to know this because I, I don't know this. The part. vision for the the modeling and and what you see. You saw. You obviously saw something lacking out there where you said we could do this. So give us the story, please. And, and start yelling at models. But we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Um. Well, me and LS first met actually um, a long time ago. I won't say exactly how long, but at Barbizon Modeling School, she was my teacher and I was a student. Okay. Um, once I left there, I started doing my modeling and makeup, and she left and started doing her, you know, my fashion, fashion show, coordinating. coordinating fashion shows for radio stations, and, um, for churches, for retail stores on my own. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we um, end up leaking back up because we stayed in touch and everything and started LSK. Um, Basically, LSK is um, we started the company to help people out there with their dreams of either modeling or their talents of dancing and singing. And there's a lot of agencies out here that won't even look at them or give them a time of day. Mm -hmm. So we started a company because we've been out there, we work, we network, we know a lot of people. So we just like, let's put it together, let's help others that want to be out there like we are, and let's just um, manage their careers a little bit, just help them out, get them out there. Okay, okay. So more than just connecting people with beautiful faces, right, you're, you're helping guide the career. Yes, All right. kind of career. And for clients, our model is um, we'll make your vision or dream come true. Yeah. Nice. So whatever your vision is for your event or whatever you see happening at your event, you come to our company, we'll make sure it goes down yes, that way. we're the one-stop shop. One-stop shop company. <laughs> so, so if I got a bar, bar mitzvah coming up. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. We will put that together. We're going to yes, put we it will. together. We go. bar mitzvah together. That's Baby showers, up. club events, fashion shows. Any type Anything. of events. Our specialty Anything. is fashion shows because mm -hmm. that's what people know us as and that's what we, um, our careers has been in. But we are event planners. Oh. We'll plan any kind of event that you want us to come into. And, and you guys got a couple of highlights that I want to get into for the second part of the interview, you know, Slim, because, you know, they, they've been involved in a couple, I want, you know, a little couture fashion weeks in the okay. city and, you know, a couple okay. shh, later, later. <laughs> but for right now, you know, with LS, I know you, you know, y your background is, is quite extensive. Yes. But about 15 years. It, 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so what is what what's that experience like with you know a newbie with with the with the with the deer with the fresh baby deer legs? <laughs> you know. What? In the beginning, um, I'm not gonna lie. In the beginning, when we first started the company, it was a little bit rough because um, a lot of people didn't take us seriously, or if we did meet, and no offense to you guys, if we did meet guys and had a meeting with them. They didn't take us seriously because, of course, you know, we're not bad looking females. So at the end of the meeting, it's like, oh, you got somebody? Can I get your phone number? You want to go hang out? And we're like, no, we're businesswomen. This is yeah. straight business. That's it. Exactly. So we had to turn into mean girls in a sense of not being so friendly off the back with people. Right. We got called mean and we were bees and mm. stuff like that. But it's all business. And if a man did it, it's okay. But if a woman do it, or she got attitude, she's a bee, or she's mean. And it's not that. We just want people to respect us as businesswomen. So that was tough in the beginning. But I think now that we're out there, people could see, okay, they're no joke. You got to come with them with business. No filters, no in-betweens with us anymore. That's what so it's about. I think they got that point now. But we're still cool. We're still nice. <laughs> we are. <laughs> so, oh, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. I, I, I'll, go, I'll go ahead, man, because I've done a couple of events yeah. with them. Okay. So and yeah, I've been to a couple of the events, yeah. you know, and um, I just like the way y'all work. Mm. I, I really got a respect for the work level and the intensity. Listen, hard. you can't you can't be you can't be 
soft mm -hmm. and work with these women. Mm. They true business women. I, I, I gotta say, I respect that. He works yes. side by side with us at the international. And a lot of people and don't get to see what we do behind no. the scenes. They see all the glitz and glamour. It's a lot of hard work that goes into these shows. Sometimes a year of planning, no sleep. In fashion, in fashion, so listen, they need to have a, ba a boxing ring right. in the back. <laughs> I don't know why y'all yeah. don't have one, yeah, yeah. but after the makeup come off, y'all need a boxing ring in the back. Cause I, I can't, I can't dig with y'all yeah. the way. Even, tell us about how the fashion world is so, it's so, it's not for the weak at heart. It's very cutthroat. You cannot right. be weak. Uh, you gotta have a thick skin for sure. You're gonna get people that's gonna call you names. They're gonna call you fat, ugly. Mm. Judge you Only weigh two pounds. <laughs> yes. Right, right. <laughs> so. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, LS is small, but I'm a beast when it comes to business. And if anybody messes up my business, I'm quick to let you know and put you back in your place real oh, yeah. quick. So it's a, it's, a, it's a balance. You know, you try to be sweet and nice, but you got to bring that edge and that hardness, too, for people to respect you and understand, oh, they're serious. Yes, and being black women on top of it makes it even harder. Like, so, we got two double. strikes against us. Double, double. <laughs> what's, double, the, double. what's the biggest challenge? I mean, you know, I, I, could, I could see, you know, you go into a business meeting, people not taking you seriously. And, and I love the behind-the-scenes stuff, right? You know, what, yeah. what's the biggest challenge with the models or, or the day of that show that, that you come into that, you know, you got to be hard-nosed, which I understand. You know, we all need that. But at the same token, you know, you, you've learned how to back it off. Well, what's, the, what's the biggest challenge when you're putting on a show? Making sure people are there and show up mm. on time. Okay. Yes. We are big time, on time, time and yeah. being there. And we give people, like, instructions and mm. full details of everything. Like, there's no nothing you can access. For some reason, they don't read. They come and question us. And certain, during an event, it's really, really tough. Yeah. Because everybody's coming to me and kissing me and kissing for this and that. But we have to balance it out. We deal with so many different personalities that we can't react to every personality that comes at us or we will go crazy. Yeah. So we got to keep a balance and, you know, just keep it nice with the girls yes. and guys and designers. You got to <laughs> deal with that too. Yeah. Okay. Cater to, cater to oh everyone. My They're God. used to like New York City fashion shows and all this stuff. And then they come to Syracuse, they expect the same. And we do get them the same. Okay. They get treated exactly the same. And that's why they like working with us. It's like, yeah, you girls are really like professional. You treat us. Yeah. They see it and, and it, that hard work pays off because we've right. had people come from overseas and see our hard work. Awesome. And then we got invited to Couture Fashion Week. Uh -huh, awesome. And now we're a part of House of Bucheri, which is um, a fashion Hold up. Hold up. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, you didn't oh, know not about yet. That? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Hold up. Now you. <laughs> no, we're going we gonna to bring that from part two. I, because it's, it's, some, it's certain career highlights. So I want to make